Hey everybody, this is Kimball with Live Oak. I'm here in the Acorn Land Lab today for episode eight of the Takeaway series. Today's Takeaway episode is actually on solar punk art. So our whole goal with Live Oak as an education company and with the Acorn Land Lab is to show people a vision of what living differently can look like and maybe should look like. Now, far be it from us to try to prescribe a way of living to everybody. That is what, that is the least that is, that, is, that is absolutely what we're not trying to do. We're simply trying to show what a lifestyle that is refreshing, healthy, local, different, greener, and slower can look like. So much of the US is so homogenous. Suburbs, exits, restaurants. You might've heard the term the oranging of America, where you could be anywhere in America and it looks the same. The soul has been ripped out and so many areas just are the same bland, corporate, suburban-based environment. And there's, there's just no uniqueness and no life. And it's not healthy, it's not sustainable. And people feel it. People want to move away towards something different. That's what we're doing with the Acorn Land Lab. So solar punk is a genre kind of like um, cyberpunk, like it's in the same family of punks, I suppose. A cyberpunk like Blade Runner or steampunk like the Sherlock Holmes vibe. Solar punk though, rather than being Victorian age like steampunk or dystopian like cyberpunk, solar punk is a aesthetic. It is a concept that blends nature and a light sprinkling of technology. Solar punk is a vision of the future that artists and storytellers are putting out there in novels and short stories and fiction and artwork. So we're gonna show a few pieces of solar punk concept art throughout this video, just to give you all an idea of what helps inspire us. Storytelling and art has more power than most people realize. When you can tell someone a story, you have the power to inspire them. When you can give someone a visual of what the world could be, you plant a seed that they can then go carry forward. We want to plant seeds of what we think our communities could look like if they were greener, if they had more local food, if they had more lightweight, sustainable energy systems, if they were designed more efficiently with better structures that required less heating and cooling, if we had more car-free pathways. We're all about getting the cars out of communities. More bikes, e-bikes, scooters, enclosed low-speed vehicles, concepts like Aptera. What would that future look like? Well, we won't know until we start sketching out illustrations and pieces of art. We're trying to build an environment that looks like that here, but we can only build so much so fast. So we're excited to show you all renderings of solar punk artwork that others have created and renderings of solar punk artwork that we've created with some AI tools, just to give you all a bit more of that vision, a bit more of that zeitgeist of what sustainable circular systems can look like in our everyday life. Now we realize not all these technologies are gonna to come to fruition, but the visions of local food embedded where you live, the visions of rainwater collection systems, of sparingly placed solar panels to provide just enough electricity. We're not going to have these all over the place, but have enough of them to produce what we need. Showing what car-free communities and environments look like. Honestly, a lot of the solar punk visions we have are just taking us back to the 1920s and beyond before we completely turned our communities upside down with a car-centric design. All of the four-lane highways, all of the gas station, strip mall, concrete wasteland environments that have sprung up since car culture began, those are often the first thing to go when you create a solar punk vision. Walkability, designing communities for humans first, not for cars. America is built for cars today. It's not built for humans. Some studies have shown that the average speed in a car is somewhere between nine to 15 miles an hour when you break down all the time you've spent sitting at red lights and stop signs, when you break down all the time you spent working in a cubicle to pay for your car. Just because you can go 70 miles per hour on the freeway doesn't mean your car is doing that all the time. Our cars are often an illusion of speed and efficiency. They really often cost us far more money, far more time, far more expense through insurance and fuel and maintenance and mortgage payments, loan payments. So solar punk is helping to show people what we should 
perhaps move towards. And it shows us what a different culture might look like. One that's not anchored around freeways. One that's not anchored around rush hour. One that has local shops you can walk to. We're not inventing all this stuff. It's not brand new. For most of humanity's existence, we lived in small, walkable local communities where your food, your water, your sanitation, your energy systems, your shelter systems, they were all integrated. They were there together. It's only in the last hundred years here in America, we've split all that out and we fragmented these key items we all need. We all need food, we all need water, we need sanitation, we need shelter, we need energy. Why not reintegrate all those elements once again, like we have in this land lab here? The solar punk vision is all about integration. All of these elements should work together in harmony. They shouldn't be spread out in a costly expanse where you've got to pay exorbitant amounts to maintain these crumbling roads. You've got to pay to maintain all these big trucks. You've got to pay to maintain all these individual vehicles. You've got to pay to continue sending mining companies abroad for fuel. It doesn't have to be this way. We can have a balance. We can reinvent communities to where our young people just spend a few thousand dollars for a lightweight EV transportation mode, where we do have better public transportation. We've got more pedal power, foot power. But who's gonna ride a bike on today's four lane highways? Not me, not my kids, not my wife. Who's going to ride a small efficient vehicle when you've got so many massive vehicles on the roads? We need a separate transit network. The solar punk visions are to show what that could look like. We're all about STEM education here in the Acorn Land Lab. We're all about teaching students, and anyone really, about how food can be grown locally, how energy can be sourced and provided more locally, how water and sanitation can be integrated into all these systems, and innovative shelters can be designed as well. So please sit back, enjoy some more of these solar punk renderings. We like to think of this as storytelling to improve the world. This doesn't mean that this is exactly where we're going, but we hope it plants a few inspirational seeds with you as to what the future can look like and what we might be able to leave for our kids and grandkids to improve upon the damage that's occurred with our car-centric, spread out, fragmented environment. Things can get a lot prettier. Things can become a lot more useful. Our communities can be slower, healthier, far more human-oriented than they are today. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you in the next Takeaway episode.